What the fraction? <laughs> Welcome to Math Monday, episode 10. I'm out of hand, so after today, I don't know how I'm gonna show you what episode we're on, but anyway, we're on episode 10, and today, we're talking about fractions. Uh, what the fraction? <laughs> because for a lot of you, fractions are such a hard concept to get. I'm gonna pop off camera now, and that way we'll have a full screen so we can actually just see what is going on with fractions. All right, here we go. So what exactly are fractions? Why are they so confusing? And when will I ever use fractions? Let's take a closer look to find out. A fraction is a part of a whole number. Say that with me. A fraction is a part of a whole number. But what does that mean? I want you to pause the video for a little bit and try to come up with different ways to represent fractions. Now that you've had a chance to practice what you think that means, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Here I see that I have one whole apple. And here I see two people and they're both equally hungry. So they have decided to share this apple. That means that each person is going to get half of this apple. That way they both get to enjoy the apple and have the same amount of pieces. And that is fractions. Here we see seven very hungry girls and only one loaf of bread. So they're going to need to share this loaf of bread. So the only way that they can do that is by using fractions. They're going to go ahead and split this loaf of bread up into seven equal pieces. That means that each girl will get one seventh of this loaf of bread. So that means that we will write the fraction as one out of seven. Always remember that fractions are fair. Say it with me. Fractions are fair. Now that we understand what a fraction is, let's take a look at some of the places where we might use fractions in our real life. So how do we use fractions in our real life? Actually, we use fractions a lot more than you would think. One way that we use fractions is in building. Another way that we use fractions is in cooking. Chefs and bakers use fractions all the time to measure out ingredients. We also use fractions with money and with time. Another way that we use fractions is in sports. A lot of times in sports we'll find out percentages which is a type of fraction. All right, so what types of ways do you use fractions in your real life? I want you to go ahead and make a list of all the different ways that you use fractions. I want you to go home tonight and try to use fractions in your real life. And if you have a way that you're using fractions in your real life that is not listed here, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know how you're using fractions in your real life. Your hundreds, your thousands, it makes life a lot easier. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take 125 and either change it to a base 10, base 100, or base 1000. made it to the end of one of my videos. I know that's not always the easiest thing to do, but if 
you want to see more, you can click over here to check them out. And it's totally okay because it's called binge watching and we all do it. So, enjoy.